It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. I want to tell you up front that this video today I've done before. I've done something on this before. Only reason I do it again is because we have so many new subscribers who might want to see it and haven't dwelled back far enough on the video. Uh, this is a different twist to it a little bit. Um, but uh, the, today's video is on how Goober saved a life. Let's check it out. Uh, when you think of Goober Pyle, the happy-go-lucky mechanic, is not usually the one you think of when it comes to saving lives. Now, while he served as an emergency deputy a few times and may very needed him, he was usually just happy working at Wally's filling station. However, behind the scenes, George Lindsay would be credited for saving the life of an Oscar-winning actor. Ernest Borgnine, best known for his work on McHale's Navy and Airwolf, won an Oscar for his role in the 1955 film Marty, which also went on to take the Best Picture Oscar. Younger generations may not know him as the voice of Mermaid Man on SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, what you may not know is that he was a close friend with George Lindsay. Lindsay and Borgnine met by chance when a mutual friend invited Lindsay to join them for lunch. Lindsay was a big fan and jumped at the opportunity. The trio met for lunch and got to talking. Eventually, the mutual friend had to leave for work, leaving Lindsay and Borgnine behind. Lindsay asked what Borgnine was doing after this, and he said he had to see his mechanic. Lindsay managed to convince him to play a round of golf with him instead, which turned out turned into dinner, which turned into hours of talking. Two parted as good friends and stay in con have stayed, uh, they stayed in contact for years afterward. It wasn't until years later, in 1992, when Ernest Borgnine did an interview with The Current Affair that George Lindsay learned that he had saved his friend's life that day at lunch. Ernest Borgnine had been considering suicide that morning, but Lindsay talking him into a game of golf had changed his plans. He had been thinking about killing himself, but instead he went and played golf with me, Lindsay wrote in his memoir. He said I was responsible for saving his life. I never knew until he revealed it on Current Affair. Borgnine went on to live to the age of 95. A hero without even knowing it. I, it's, it's, I believe everybody's got that. That's happened to everybody, maybe not to that extent, but everybody's done something for somebody and don't even realize it. That's why it's important to be nice, right? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Uh, really appreciate you guys being here. And uh, don't forget the Beverly Hills Hillbilly Facts and Trivia uh, link is down in the description below. If you subscribe to that, here when we get to 1,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a contest. And we'll be giving something really nice away. So... Go down there, click on that link, go over to Beverly Hillbilly Spice Trivia, check out the video, subscribe, and then boom, you're set up to enter. You're set up to enter the contest once we hit 1,000 subscribers. Thanks. That's all I got for you. Have a great day. God bless, and I'll be praying for you.